Uh, very good morning to you. Tell us first of all then why uh, you want to get rid of non-DOM tax status. So non-DOM tax status is a system of sort of tax, um, a tax system whereby people who are generally earning a very large amount of money can claim that they're not always resident in this country. And that may well be true, but while they live in this country, they should be paying taxes in this country. And it does apply to people who are normally resident in this country. And I think working people know that it's not fair if you can avoid paying taxes, whether it's legal or not legal, it's a system that needs to be got rid of. And that is because we have have to have a tax system that's fair and I'm willing to bet that every single one of the Tory leadership candidates won't touch this non-DOM tax status at all. They're spraying around tax cuts like no tomorrow but they're not actually dealing with something that really would help transform the lives of working people. There are any number of things they could be doing to make a fair tax system. No, abolishing non-DOM tax status is something that we would do and that would help make our tax system fair. It may be a fair point and that's for our viewers and listeners to decide but what was absolutely obvious from PMQs yesterday was that the only reason Sir Keir Starmer raised this yesterday was to try and trip Boris Johnson into criticising Rishi Sunak and his wife. The job of the Prime Minister, of the Leader of the Opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, is to challenge the government, is to scrutinise the government and is to challenge the Prime Minister. I mean, what I noticed in PMQs yesterday was that we've got a Prime Minister who's completely out of touch, utterly failed to answer any of the very reasonable questions put by my right honourable friend Sir Keir Starmer. And I really think it shows the contrast between someone who is decent and honourable, hard-working and would put the British people's uh, needs first, that's Keir, who I want to see in number 10, and Boris Johnson, who still there, despite the fact that his own front bench and back bench have said they've got no confidence in him, has been shown to have broken the law, has been shown in the past to have lied. It is really not on. So I think that Keir was absolutely right to raise non-DOM status because at a time when working people are counting every penny to try and work out how they're going to pay their bills, we need a tax system that's fair and that's why Keir raised that yesterday in PMQs and I'm really glad he did. Lots of our listeners and viewers will disagree with, with what you're saying this morning. Themselves, very often uh, working people, and they will feel that the Labour Party very much focuses on attacking wealth rather than focusing on policy to, to try and create it. What would you say to that? Well, at the moment, we haven't got any, any wealth creation. We've got a government that's presided over stagnating growth. So, I mean, that's what we've not got under the Tories. Creating wealth will be the first priority for a Labour government, and that's because we know that we can't spend money we don't have, but that it is taxpayers' money that funds public services. And the only way you do that without punishing working people, which is what this government has done, 15 Tory tax rises in two years, instead of that, we should be growing the economy, and that is not happening under a Tory government and would be happening under a Labour government. We would make it our top priority. With, with, uh...